Simulated here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we're going ahead and doing a bit of a renovation video. As you can probably tell, this is another part to the renovation battle series run by Havana Sims. And there are many other amazing creators taking part this month. We are renovating 1B Klaupepa? Klopala? I'm not quite sure how you meant to pronounce that house. So it's one of the apartments in this building area. I always play in this area, like in this building, I guess you would say, but I've never really played in this apartment before. So I found it really, really fun to renovate because when I first loaded it up, I was like, huh? Like I didn't really recognize this apartment. So that was really fun and cool. So basically this renovation battle had a couple of different rules. One of the main rules was that you had to have a little den, like a little study area for your sim. She was like a young bachelorette who just moved into the city and she basically needed a study area that was separate from the rest of the house. So also, sorry if you can hear my dishwasher in the background. That is what that noise is. If you can hear it, I'm not sure if you can, but at one point it might beep to say that it's done and just ignore that. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, you had to separate the like study from the rest of the house. Her favorite colors are teal and white. And I think that was most of the rules. Oh, and you needed a bar. So like a um, mixology bar. So I went ahead and followed those rules when making the house and when doing the floor plan and whatnot. I tried to keep everything pretty, pretty realistic, not changing things too much. I did slightly change the size and shape of the bathroom. And then I added in a like faux wall kind of thing in between the bedroom because the bedroom was mega, mega big. I feel like the bedroom is so big. It's the kind of bedroom where you would have some kind of study or like big walk-in wardrobe ensuite in there as well. So what I did was I just cut off a rectangle of that room and made it into her study den. I'm pretending that maybe she works from home or maybe she works one of the jobs where you can choose to either work from home or work like at work. So sometimes she works from home, she has clients come or whatever. And so she likes to have her in home office. And I guess it is kind of weird because if she had anyone else come around, they'd have to walk through her bedroom. But maybe she only brings like certain clients, like ones she knows personally or like family friends or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, there are some curtains so she can go ahead and shut them if she wants some separation. If she just wants to, you know, sleep and not worry about work, she can do that. But I tried to keep most things very, very modern and simple, you know, because this is an apartment building. I imagine most of the stuff is already in here. I know that's not the case in America. Wait, no, in America, a lot of places come fully furnished or like with most things furnished, like it'll come with a washing machine. It will come with a fridge and stuff like that. In Australia, it isn't like that. If you're renting a house or a unit or an apartment, the only things that will be built in are like the toilet and then the sink and like bath and shower if you have a bath. And then the stove will more often than not be built in and you'll have like cupboards, but there will never be a fridge and there would never be washing machines built in or anything like that. Like as far as I've experienced anyway, it's never like that. Maybe if you lived in a real like high rise apartment, it would be, but I've even seen apartments advertised where you have to like provide your own stove. Like I'm not kidding. So yeah, um, I put in washing machine and dry originally because I was thinking that kind of way, like it reminded me of an American kind of apartment. So I thought there would more likely be a washer and dryer already. Also because I know in America, a lot of people use dryers. They don't dry their clothes on a line, depending on where you live. Like if you live in a really rainy city, that makes sense. Whereas in Australia, probably one of the big reasons why they don't provide washers and dryers is because we don't need dryers. So yeah. Anyway, I got rid of the uh, washer and dry in the end because it cost way too much money. This also was a budget build. We only had 20K in total. The whole like area once uploaded to the gallery had to be under 20K. So you might see some decorations or some options that are going to change to the uploaded version because at the end I had to go ahead and make sure it was under budget because I was a little bit naughty with over furnishing. But her apartment is kind of empty and I just imagined it's because it mostly came pre-furnished. She didn't get to choose a lot of the stuff. And the main areas that she like decorated and focused on are like her bedroom and her study because that's where she spends most of her time. And then her living area is pretty basic and empty. 
so that then she can entertain lots of guests, there's lots of room, maybe like when guests come and stay, <laughs> they like sit on the floor or something, I don't know, I put some cushions down there. And then I also created this little corner to be a bit of a plant corner because honestly we didn't have very much money and I thought it could be a good little activity to pretend she has, she likes gardening in her little apartment because obviously she doesn't have a balcony or anything like that. So I just put in some at-home plants that she could take care of in an apartment. But yes, also you will notice, and this is a little shout out to Hip Hip Renee, that uh, we have a little plaque on the wall right there. You can't move it because it comes with the apartment with the historical trait, I think. And I put a fireplace underneath it because a lot of the times when we were having build challenges, Havana would make one of the rules be that you had to have a fireplace or that you couldn't remove certain fireplaces or stuff like that. And Renee hated it. <laughs> I think a lot of the times the fireplaces were like ugly or they didn't work in the rooms or whatever. And she would always be like, no, not another fireplace. And I purposefully put one in here, even though it was really expensive and doesn't quite look right. I put it in here just in honor of her because I believe she can't do this renovation battle. So that was in memory of <laughs> Hip Hip Renee. But anyway, we're nearing the end of this video. We're going into screenshots. If you would like to download this gallery, it is uploaded as a room. My gallery ID is Bree Simulated or search hashtag Bree Simulated. Also, if you want to see the creator sim video for this sim, that should already be up, if not coming up soon. And she is also downloadable from my gallery page. You'll be able to find her there as well. But yeah, also want to point out there is technically a window going into like the bedroom and bathroom, which is kind of weird, but the walls are pretty tall, so we'll pretend it's not weird. And she lives alone, so like, it's okay. But anyway, until next time, I hope you'll have a very snazzy day. Thank you so much to Havana and the other contestants for nominating me in this collab. Uh, links in the description. See you next time. Bye guys.